Hi everyone, this is Mary. Welcome to another tutorial for Digital Delights by Luby Lou. And today I'm going to be using these adorable digital stamps that are from the Gingerbread Holiday Set. And I've chosen to use some pre-colored ones. This is Baker Ginger. And I've also chosen to use Rolling Pin Ginger. Isn't she cute? And this is Wooden Spoon Ginger. The set also includes, uh, this is Joy Ginger, and then there's also a Cookie Jar Ginger. And I'm not going to be using those two this time, but I will be using them another time, I'm sure. And I'm going to be using them in this holiday cookbook that I'm putting together. I used the Cricut cartridge from my kitchen, and I've been wanting to do this for some time now. There are holiday recipes that I've made every year while my kids were growing up, and I wanted them to put inside of a holiday cookbook so that I can give one to each of my kids so then they can pass the recipes down. Like on Christmas morning while they opened gifts, I always had homemade cinnamon rolls for them, and we always had southern pecan pie and um, the chocolate-covered uh, peanut balls or Buckeyes as they call them around here because we're so close to Ohio but there's just so many recipes for fudge and all and I wanted to put them all together and give it as a gift and I thought well how cute would this be to put on the front and then to decorate the inside pages of my album with these adorable little digital stamps now for the front I want him or her I'm sorry Ginger <laughs> I want Ginger to stand up, and she's on Pop Dots, but I don't really care for that because in using it, she could get torn off because when you put it on Pop Dots, as you can see, or maybe you can't, there we go, she's going to be standing up. So what I've decided to do is to make Ginger like faux chipboard. So I've printed her out six times, and I'll be cutting out all six of these copies of ginger, and I'm going to put one on top of the other so it's like faux chipboard. Now, another way to do this, if you don't want to go ahead and print them all out, is just print out one, and then lay it on cardstock, and go ahead and cut around her. But I wanted to do it this way, just in case I don't get them lined up perfectly evenly, then you'll still be seeing a little bit of ginger around the outside edges, because this is going on the front, and I want it to, to be as nice as I can get it. So that's what I'm going to be doing with these. And then I'm going to take wooden spoon ginger and rolling pin ginger and put on my inside pages. And I'll show you how I've done these. Now my front cover... I cut at four by no excuse me four and a quarter by seven inches and I've put pockets on all the pages so that I can put the recipe in and then take it out rather than to adhere the recipe to the page that way I can take my recipe over to where I'm cooking not have to take the whole book because I don't want this to get stained or ruined and I can also add some other recipes to the back if I need to. Now this strip that makes the pocket is two by six, excuse me, this first one is two by seven. These pages, I used the from my kitchen cartridge to cut them out and they ended up being four by six and three quarters because I used, let's see, I used the divider pages on page 68 69 and 70. I really like that scallop top that they have. There's lots of different ones in here. Let me find that for you. Here we go. I cut this one, then this one for the middle. This is on page 68, 69, and 70. And then this one for the right hand side. And you can see when it's closed up, you can see the tabs at the top. And all of these were cut with the Cricut at four inches, which makes them be four by six and three quarters. So the pockets for these pages are two by six and three quarters. 
and I just took some cardstock, adhered the paper to it, and then adhered it down on three sides. And I've kind of alternated the colors. There's enough room in here for 10 recipes or even extras if I want. And I'm going to do a little journaling about the recipes down here, and then I'll be adding these adorable little digital stamps on the pages to embellish it. So I'm going to go ahead and get my Baker Ginger cut out and layered for the front so you can see the faux chipboard technique. And then I'll get the others cut out for the inside and I'll be right back and show you how we're going to do that. I've cut out all six of my little Baker Ginger and I'm going to start adhering them together one on top of the other to make my faux chipboard Baker Ginger for the front of my cookbook album. And I'm going to use my two-way glue pen. This is a new one, so I'm going to have to give it some pumps to get the glue down in the end. But it's very simple. And as I said before, if you don't want to print all these out, because it does take ink from your printer, just adhere the one that you want on top of some cardstock and then just cut around it. Now we're going to just line this up, just like that. I'm doing it this way though, just in case any of the edges show, it will not be just the uh, blank cardstock. It'll be the little Baker Ginger. And as I continue to add these, this will get thicker and thicker and it will look like chipboard. So I'm going to keep on adding these to them, same way with my two-way glue pen, and just adhere it on top, and I'll be right back and show you what it looks like. Here's little Baker Ginger all adhered together. I don't know if you can see how thick that is, but it's very thick and hard and rigid, just like a piece of chipboard, all ready to go on the front of my little holiday cookbook album. This took no time at all to cut out. I just sat there last night while my husband and I watched a movie and I had these cut out in no time. I may take some brown ink and just lightly ink around the edges before I adhere it down. And I do want to go ahead and uh, probably print on the computer holiday recipe, something like that to go over here. And then too, I am going to add little uh, rolling pin ginger and wooden spoon ginger to the inside pages. But this has just been so much fun. Be sure now and go see what other stamps that Wendy has for you for the holidays. I think she's having a 50% off uh, sale of some of the holiday stamps. These are adorable and I think there's also a set of sentiments that go along with this set. So be sure and check that out too. Thanks so much for coming by today, guys. This has been a lot of fun. And I'll see you again really soon. Bye now.